But this man, Goo, is just unfazed. He's like, okay, little boy, let me get this straight. You you got the aura of the embodiment of him. And you thinking you him? Okay. Let me tell you something, little boy. I fight the embodiment on him every single day of the effing week. You saying you are on my level? <laughs> I'm going to tell you right here and right freaking now. Listen to me very carefully. There is only, only one him. And this just destroys them with little to no effort, bro. <sighs> How's it going, Squaw Nation? It's your boy, Glorious. And today, we are back again with more lookism. Disrespectful moments. Ugh. Yes, sir, indeedy. Now, obviously, I can't start this whole disrespectful video off without giving a massive shout out to you guys. Oh my god, yo, crush the collaboration I did with Slim XF did for the top 10 disrespectful characters in Lucasfilm. Y'all crushed the heck out of that Lyco. I, I love y'all. But obviously, because that Lyco has been crushed, I obviously we're going to do another collab, me and Slim. But when? That's a good question. <laughs> Like I said, Slim is already busy with his stuff, trying to get just one flipping video out. Trying to finish that freaking Gun X um, Sujung Bayek vid. And me, I'm just trying to make sure I keep keep going with my daily double upload schedule. So, don't worry. We will do a whole massive freaking collab. But, if you guys want to show off massive support to me and the man Slim, obviously you guys gotta, of course, subscribe to each other's channels and like our freaking freaking videos, you know what I'm saying? Try to make the algorithm push out our freaking videos a little bit more. And not only will it give us motivation to, you know, make more collaborations videos in the future because I'm gonna keep it a band, bro, all right? Listen, listen, bro, listen. That collaboration video, the top 10 disrespectful men, bro, you don't know how many hours it took me to freaking edit and freaking like make sure the audio was good, clean, and all that stuff, okay? So listen, listen, man, listen. Do us a favor. Do us a ma do us a massive solid, okay? This is the this is something I want y'all guys to do. I want you to go guys to go over to not just obviously, since you're on my channel, obviously. But also to Slims, like each and every last one of our freaking videos. Subscribe if you haven't already, because I got I got I got put you on blast, okay? Like <laughs> I got put you on blast right now. You know what I'm saying? Um, you know what I'm saying? Try to push our videos out for the algorithm to pretty much catch on and be like, okay, let's push more of their content out. So you know what I'm saying? Not only again, not only boosts us motivation also makes more good content in the future but anyways i'm done rambling <laughs> you, you all y'all really want to talk really want to know about some disrespectful moments and i got you okay now obviously we got <laughs> now we got two very distinct disrespectful moments one from my man goo and the other from gun now this is this is a good thing too because this is actually the first time i actually put these two in the exact same freaking video, but I digress. When it comes down to disrespectful moments. So, anyways, on the first part with this man Goo, bro, what disrespectful moment that he did? Now, obviously, if you guys took a look at our disrespectful top ten disrespectful moments, obviously, you guys pretty much already know what the heck I'm about to talk about. But in case you guys didn't check out that video, I mean, it's right there. But one of the top, one of the, one of the, one of the most disrespectful ones this man Goo did was just beat the effing bricks out of this man, Yohai. So the backstory no jutsu to this little situation, how it all comes down to it, is basically this man, Johan, actually goes up to this, the, to the big dog, Charles Show himself, you know what I'm saying? 
And he literally has a whole bag of freaking cash. And just basically walked up to my mans and basically like, hey, yo, bro, my mother, my eyes, can you can you do something? You know what I'm saying? And my man, Charles Cho, like, listen, little boy, I don't know why you expect me to help you out, all right? I'm done with you four major crews, all right? I'm, it's about time I be done with y'all once and freaking for all, bro. And Lily walks away. And before my man Johan could get a little freaking word in, my man Goo comes out flipping nowhere and just starts booting this man. And my man Goo is like, hey, yo, my, hey, yo, copycat boy. <laughs> you really got a lot of nerve coming up to the big boss. Now you trying to plan on trying to ruin our little business, my boy? I'll be, I'll be honest. I'll be honest. I'm a little bit impressed. You know what I'm saying? Gun definitely, definitely trained your butt. But hey, <laughs> but it was definitely a mistake. You know what I'm saying? He should have been killed your ass instead of abandoning you right here, right now. You're here because your mama got a problem. Oh, boo freaking who, little boy. Everybody in this motherfucker got some, got some or something to like earn a little quick cash and a little freaking money. And my man, Johan's like, hey, yo, my boy. Pick up my money back up. <laughs> and my man Goo's like, oh, what you gonna do? <laughs> Fight me? But who do you think you think you is, bruh? I'ma let you know right freaking now, bruh. If you think that you if gun couldn't even be gun beat your ass with little to no effort, <laughs> brother. What do you think you're gonna do against me? And then this man Goo literally sees that this man got the aura. The aura. Of all the people that he's copied so far, with freaking Vasco, Jake, and the embodiment of him. Gun. Oh my god. But this man Goo is just unfazed. He's like, okay, little boy, let me get this straight. You you got the aura of the embodiment of him. And you thinking you him? Okay. Let me tell you something, little boy. I fight the embodiment on him every single day of the effing week. So unless you got something new for me, <laughs> this is really going to be a one-sided fight for real. Man, Johan just goes straight in for a freaking punch for real. And my man Goose like, hey, hey, hey yo, boy. Hey, hey, young boy. Let me, let me tell you something real quick. <laughs> okay? Listen. You real now you you must really think you him for real cuz you cuz you frame one just came out of nowhere and really about to break my freaking glasses are you really sure that you think you him bro <laughs> let me show you something real sweet and i'm not going to lie to you Johan was actually going crazy for real he literally using every single like move that he has copied so far from Bosco to Jake to, of course, obviously, freaking gun. And it looks like my man Johan about to come in for the freaking ultimate freaking kill right now. Using my man Gun's freaking Kaioshin Karate. But my man Goo's like, okay, little boy. Now you really going... <laughs> now you really... You really get a little cocky now. All right? I know your ass did not just go easy on me. I know you did not just go easy on me. And just backhands the heck out of Johan. And my man's like, okay, <laughs> I'm convinced. You, you really think, you really think you actually freaking him. So I'm a, so I'm a, so I'm a, be, be, I'm going to give you the best advice you ever heard in your life. Don't you ever, ever hit like you think you effing him, my boy. Like for real, for real. And I'm not going to lie to you, bruh. Goo must have really took that, <laughs> took that bitch personally. Because the man he spots something, bruh. Oh, my Lord. You, you guys already know. You guys already know. Anything. Anything that this man grabs that feels like a legitimate katana to him. He about to go crazy, bruh. Johan about ready to go, go ham on freaking goo, but <sighs> we all know it was too freaking late. Man, Johan got eviscerated, dogged out of him. Literally, like, just destroyed. Absolute destroyed. And my man Goo is just literally walking the frick away. 
And he's just like, <laughs> man, this little boy thinking that he think he am. Boy, I be finding that man gun since we were fucking kids. What the heck you talking about? <laughs> With freaking money all over the freaking place. And he is just like, hey, bro, you can also keep all your freaking change, my boy. Because oh, I certainly don't need it, my boy. Anyways, that was goose disrespectful, my boy. Now on to guns. Brother. Brother Bear. If there was ever a chapter, every chapter that showed off that this man gun is literally the embodiment of him. Ladies and gentlemen. Ladies and gen ladies and gentlemen. Mostly gentlemen. Bruh. It, I know I feel like I'm street treading territory here, but I have to, I have to include this. I have to include this. I have to include this. I've talked about this a little bit in my freaking top ten disrespectful moments of my man Slim, and I also this was also a part of a whole freaking relog that I damn did. But this disrespectful moment comes from the sign. Of this man just dogging every last one of the workers. Every last one. <laughs> every last one. Of course, for those of you guys that have been living under a rock, this whole situation basically takes place when obviously Big Deal's basically gang worked up by the workers you know what i'm saying like the workers about ready to pretty much destroy them you know what i'm saying about ready to destroy big deal but bruh th th this is how you know gun is literally the embodiment of him okay i don't want to hear it this is how you know that this man gun is literally the embodiment of him bro his presence his effing presence alone. His effing presence alone <laughs> made every last person stop fighting. Have a shock freaking face, bruh. Bruh, even Eli and Warren like, oh god. It's him. <laughs> like, bruh. My man gun pulls up and basically says the ultimate words, bruh. Workers, you are officially no longer part of the four flipping major crews, bruh. Like, gone. And, bruh, you know Jake is just pissed right now. Like, you know what I'm saying? Because this man, keep in mind, he, he, ever since the disrespect that my man Gun gave him, Jake has been wanting to even the score. But, of course, bruh, of course, my man Jake... He had to enlist some type of help to take down the freaking workers at some point, bruh. And it was freaking gun. And my man, Jake, and my man, gun, he had to put salt in the freaking wound. He's like, oh, wow, Jake. I didn't know you was this much of a bitch to ask for my help. I'm actually surprised, bruh. So you really about to, so you basically just licking my shoes right now. Basically just kissing on my shoes, kissing my foot. You know what I'm saying? So I could destroy work so I could destroy the workers for you. Man, shaking my effing head. Bruh. <laughs> God is just him. Bro, like I said, dog, like I said, everybody in the workers is just shooketh. Alright? They are just like, oh God. It's him. It is him. Him, bro. Daniel's like the only person, obviously, a little bit unfazed. Him, Vasco, and Zach, because obviously they got their, like, you know what I'm saying? They power-ups, you know what I'm saying? They they feel a little good right now, you know what I'm saying? Especially Daniel, because keep in mind, this man was training by the embodiment of him for God knows how long. And somehow he looking like his perfect body right now. But what, what starts off the disrespect of this moment, bro? Oh, my God. He literally walks up to one guy. And tells him, hey, my boy, this coat doesn't feel a little bit comfortable fighting in. T 
take it off of me, bruh. And the dude literally took, like, again, they can't do nothing. <laughs> this is hit, this is gun. This is him. This is the embodiment of him. All they can do is basically just follow this man's directions. And, the, and look at this man, bruh. Just, just smoking that worker pack mad freaking early because he knows he about to, he about to wreck they shit, bruh. Like, for real. Bruh. Like, some of the workers about to go ahead and try to, like, dive in hell. Even Eugene's like, hey, yo, my boys. I'm going to let you know right now. Your opponent is gone. You only have one legitimate objective. It's not to beat him. It's not to break him. It is to survive. <laughs> Bruh, just survive. Dog. This man, Gun, takes every single blow of every person in this bitch. <laughs> and, bro, my man gets freaking excited. He gets bricked up. He's like, yes, yes, yes. This is what I'm all, this is what I'm freaking talking about, bro. And basically just flings them down to the freaking ground with little to no freaking effort, bro. And my man... Chokes this man, you sung this man, Eugene Swim, brother. He's like, So, who among you is supposed to be Eugene's gun for real? Because this is where, because my man, my man, gun heard from the, from the, uh, from somewhere across downtown saying that Eugene has a, a, a version of him. And my man's like, Hey, yo, my boy, is it you? Are you supposed to be? Me, <laughs> apparently. And this man proceeds to break this twin brother, bruh. I cannot. Like, bro. And obviously, big boy, big boy, black boy coming in with a freaking, like, count, like, a little bit of assist. And my man Gun is like, listen, I've been hearing a lot of ridiculous stuff about you guys, bruh. But I'm going to let you know right now. You saying you are my level? <laughs> I'm going to tell you right here and right freaking now. Listen to me very carefully. There is only, only one him. And this just destroys them with little to no effort, bro. And then my man proceeds to say, all right, who's next up on my list? Oh, I know. It's my beloved hostel, bro. If you got and you, we already know the disrespectful stuff that this man gun did to them, okay? This man basically did a Uno reverse 4v1 on these dudes, bruh. Just, just, and he, obviously he does short work with Eli and Warren. Keep in mind, again, these guys awaken the power of freaking mastery. And this man gun just blitzes them with little to no effort, bruh. Like, they try and get some hits in, but... My man gun is still <laughs> punishing them. And my man's and it is just so fucking funny to because this man is damn near being the brakes off of them while he's complimenting them. He's like, hey yo, my boy, I'm not gonna lie, you actually got a little bit stronger. You actually put in some work for real. And my man Warren is out here trying to hit the CQC, but bro. Gun just ate that. He ate that for breakfast. <laughs> and my man, my man, Gun is like, so I see that Warren has improved, but what about you, my beloved Eli, my favorite? Have you finally gotten strong after your little bit of freaking hiatus of playing daddy? So this is what you're capable of now, bro. Dead ass, basically being the brakes while basically hitting him. With the freaking goddamn knee choke, bruh. Man, about to teach him like he's freaking goddamn George Floyd right now. What the hell? And then, obviously, they all try to gang up on but bro, the The massacre. The flipping massacre that this man is doing is egregious right now. Bruh, it gets to a point where my man Eugene's like, okay, look, bruh, enough is enough, all right? <laughs> enough is enough. You win. You made your point, all right? They can't fight anymore, bro. Like, my man, and my man Gun's like, oh. <laughs> my man Gun's like, oh, they, <laughs> they tired? 
I'm gonna wait. <laughs> My man baby basically just frame one just broke every last one of them. Leaving them as a bloody pulp. And this man is just casually just smoking their pack right now. And then says, hey, I'm gonna wait till they recover. I'ma wait till they, they punch me or something like that. Like, bruh. This is the this is by far the most disrespectful shit ever. Period. Imagine a dude basically just beating on you. A dude just basically a beating on you. And while you just knocked just knocked out, you basically just lost. Okay, you are just just clean out on the freaking mat, on the ground. And dude is basically just like, <laughs> you tired? Don't worry. I'm I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till you get up. Bruh. <laughs> this is so this is so crazy shit, bruh. What the freak? I can't. Um, bro, Kenta, he got the worst of this shit, bro. I'm not gonna lie to you. Man, basically, finally, you know what I'm saying, about to get, like, you know what I'm saying, <laughs> a chance for vengeance. Because, let's be real, this man blitzed the whole, his entire Yakuza family bloodline. And my man's about to hit him with the freaking Star Platinum. Him with the... Uh, like, just going crazy, bro. Just pretty much going a freaking Star Platinum spree. But, bruh, all that, and Gun just says, ow. Bruh, <laughs> just ow, ouch, bruh. <laughs> yo, yo, I can't, bruh. This was by far Gun's most pivotal moment of disrespectful moments, period. There ain't... There is nothing, nothing, bro. I can't. Man, basically just treat his punches like it was god dang nothing, bro. And basically, my man's like, listen, my boy, I'm going to let you in on a little something right now. I remember who the freak you are, but you still ain't nothing to me. And, bro, <laughs> my man... Well, it was about ready to basically go crazy on this man gun, but bro, gun just basically just one shots him, just basically one shots him, and just basically just destroys him completely with absolutely zero to no effort at all. And then Rue comes out the freaking cut ready to box. And I'm not gonna lie, to you, this fight was actually some gas. Okay, this fight was actually some freaking gas right now. You know what I'm saying? Like this man Rue was actually putting in some freaking work, but. You already know who this you brother, brother bear. <laughs> you know th th this is gun we talking about, okay? This is this is this is the embodiment of him, bro. My man basically took all of that and is just smiling. He's just like, alright, this is what I'm talking about, baby. This is what I live for, bro. Like, bro, my man is just getting freaking ecstatic, bro. Like, it's <laughs> no freaking way. My man is just like, you is not disappointing me at the slightest. And it's just basically just just basically destroying this man, bro. Literally destroying him, bro. Like, frame flipping one. But this man, Rue, he, he's like, nah, bro. <laughs> If you think you you going you going to like, you know, box me and get a one shot off me, then you are heavily mistaken right now. And my man Rue is about to power up with one ultimate final freaking move. And this man Ruhe actually ducks the punch and belt ready to him with the ultimate freaking god dang what you calls it freaking uppercut of flipping death apparently. But, bro, <sighs> Gun saw that shit a mile away. Breaks the effing goddamn bat thing literally clean off, bro. Like, look, and look at this man's face. Like, bro, <laughs> look at this man's freaking face. Like, that is a face of just absolute shock and awe. <laughs> like, I'm not going to hold you, bro. Like, Rue, you, you, you was good, but you, you ain't goo, my boy. You was not goo at all, bro. And Gun just basically just destroys him completely. But like I said, my man Gun is just giving him compliments. He's like, "You were indeed a worthy opponent, bruh. 
not worthy enough to beat your ass, apparently. Bruh. I know where James Lee pulls up with the f with the all white fit, bruh. With the light skin riz and all. Like, bruh. <laughs> like, I'm not kidding. And I'm not gonna lie to you. We we were right there, bruh. We was literally right there to see a legitimate fight between the abiding of him. And a man who is basically nothing but legitimate perfection, bruh. And you can, like, Gun was ready, bruh. He was ready. He's, he took off the freaking, he ripped his whole shirt off and everything. Like, he was ready to, he was ready to freaking box, bruh. He was ready to box. But alas, freaking Crystal Choice, fine ass, basically called this man Gun. And is like, hey, listen, uh, you know what I'm saying? You, my father needs you back, like, ASAP. So, uh, <laughs> and type shiz. Bruh, and my man Gun is just like, wait the heck? Are you serious? Really? I'm just ready. Like, come on now. Man, this is some bullshit. But anyways, that was it for this disrespectful moment. Oh my god. <laughs> Bro, I this I that fucking that whole chapter of Gun just Basically just destroying body, everybody in the flipping workers, bro. That, if there is ever a chapter that showed that this man was literally the embodiment of him, it's this flipping chapter, bro. I swear. But anyways, that's pretty much it. I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, please like this video, comment down below, share this video across social media if you can, and... Subscribe if you're new to my channel. This is Plus Like signing out. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. Peace.